With her throat slashed and blood oozing from her neck, 80-year-old Daniel Rowe seemingly made a bid to escape her killer before collapsing onto a busy roadway, according to the accounts of two eyewitnesses. Their accounts were among nearly a dozen statements police investigators recorded as they pieced together the hours leading up to the gruesome attack on the child that sparked national outrage. The second grade student at Brayton Primary and Infant School in Portmore St. Catherine was abducted on June 8th while she waited with her younger brother to be picked up by their mother from school. One of the eyewitnesses, a motorist, told investigators that about 4.30pm that day, he saw a young female walking from a derelict building on premises located along Roosevelt Avenue near the National Stadium in St. Andrew. The child was confirmed to be Daniel. She walked onto the roadway and into the path of a motor vehicle, the witness recounted. The motorist said he also saw a woman exiting the premises behind the little girl and walked speedily along Roosevelt Avenue in a southerly direction. The woman was of brown complexion, medium built, about 5 feet 6 inches tall and was wearing a floral top and lime green knickers pants, said the witness, who told detectives that he would be able to identify her if he saw her again. The motorist told detectives that he signaled the driver of another vehicle to stop as a child wandered onto the roadway. The second driver disclosed in his account that he heard a car horn tooting non-stop and checked his rearview mirror to see what was happening. He said he felt when something faintly touched the left side of his vehicle, causing him to stop. That is when he saw a female student, still dressed in uniform, lying on the roadway. The witness said he went to her assistance and saw blood coming from her neck. He recounted placing the child in his vehicle along with her knapsack and took her to the nearby Bustamante Hospital for children while maintaining pressure to her neck. Daniel died at the Bustamante Hospital two days later. The police have not yet determined the motive for the killing. A post-mortem examination conducted on June 19 revealed that her death was caused by an incised wound to the neck. K.O. de Sachel, a 31-year-old dental assistant, was apprehended at her Lady Musgrave Road St. Andrew offices on August 11 and subsequently charged with Daniel's abduction and murder. What this about, she reportedly asked the cops during her arrest. Noting that the case is before the court, Donovan Collins, the attorney representing Sachel, declined to comment on the contents of the police report, saying he would not engage in a media trial. However, Collins said a preliminary report compiled by the police is all that has been disclosed to him by prosecutors. I have not had sight of the case file as yet, but from what I have seen in the preliminary report, they will be hard-pressed to mount a viable prosecution against my client, he insisted. But it is still early days. A clerk at the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Board confirmed that the case file is incomplete. Daniel arrived at school around 8.30 a.m. on June 8th and told her teacher that she would be purchasing lunch that day, another witness told police. Around 9 a.m. after the 8-year-old paid for her lunch, the witness said a woman showed up at the classroom door and asked to speak to April. The woman pointed to Daniel after the teacher told her there was no April in her class, according to the police report. The 8-year-old told her teacher that the woman was her driver when she returned to her seat after a brief conversation at the classroom door. One of the four security guards on duty at the time told investigators that the woman was allowed onto the school campus after she showed him a lunch bag and indicated that she was carrying lunch for Daniel, the report said. The guard reported that as the woman left the campus, she indicated that she would be back to pick up Daniel after school. She returned about 2.05 p.m., recounted the guard, whose shift ended at 2.10 p.m. when he was replaced by a female colleague. The female guard told investigators that a heavy downpour of rain caused Daniel and her brother to seek shelter inside the guard room while the woman walked past and went through the gate and stood on the opposite side of the roadway facing the school. The guard said she went to the primary section of the school to pick up her child and when she returned to the guard room, Daniel was missing, setting off a frantic search by school administrators. A sixth grade student told detectives that she saw Daniel standing at the bus stop with a woman she said was her driver. According to her description, the woman is of brown complexion and medium build. The student recounted that Daniel and the woman were walking behind her, but after a while she did not see them again. The search ended when school administrators got a call indicating 
that the 80-year-old was taken to hospital with her throat slashed. News of her death on June 10th sent the country into mourning. 